if you see this mock-up if you see this mock-up and if you see this mock-up i'm sure you'll most likely be wondering how do i get this type of mock-up for my next price um image effects is one where you can you know come up with very very realistic looking images and i just discovered that you can use them to come up with pretty much accurate looking um mock-up type images so that you can convert them to mock-up in photoshop so today i will be showing you how to do just that using image effects and photoshop so let's get right into it okay um i got some questions about how i created mock-up using um, image effects right so the technique i used was so say you want to you know, get a mock-up for something like a bag or a nose mask or a face mask the easy part is you find you can find you no know, faces that wear face mask and you can find but some mock-ups are just premium right for example like this one you can't seem to download it right so what you go you go on um, image effects and then you type in the prompt um face mask isolated on white background <coughs> and you wait for it to to load your mock-up right so the trick is you might get what you're looking for and you might not but the idea is you can always tweak your prompt now you see the face mask it brought out so say type in something like simple classic face marks isolated on white background and let's see what it brings out if it doesn't still bring out what you want then there is a trick i want to show you so now you go back to free pick and you look for this word you can see neoprene guard or something right so let's go to back to image effects and type in neoprene this mask isolated on white background and see what it does all right um sometimes you can borrow keywords right from all these premium sites it helps your search or your prompt rather perform better exactly as you can see so you can easily download all these but say you want to make it better isolated on white background floating sideways beautiful as you can see you've gotten an isolated face mask right and the trick you can use it for basically anything so for example the um the shirt design i posted on twitter right um was basically female white polo shirt um isolated on white background with body shape facing sideways a bit that is not exactly the prompt i use i'm just trying to come up with i'll go and find the exact prompt right and it may bring out what you know what we're looking for or not <laughs> okay beautiful right as you can see it brought out the mock-up and this this is um this is something you can do and you can replicate as many times as possible right so the trick is this is not exactly a mock-up it's just an image so the trick is to import the image into um photoshop right so you download the your preferred um, image um, but, but let's see if we can get another color right so because many times the, the issue we face in Photoshop is the coloring but you can always adjust the color in Photoshop um, so we'll go into Photoshop to make it into an actual usable mock-up right so let's see if it comes up with something good beautiful as you can see it is doing the work for us so um, you can do it for any other thing that you want to say mock up for um bags tote, tote bags right um uh, so 
again it's about the prompts if you tweak the prompts and customize it to fit what you what exactly you want you're gonna get exactly what you're looking for the key is don't be afraid of tweaking and um tweaking the prompts and most likely you're gonna get the result that you're looking for so we're looking for something that we can use for a project right something that we can put our logos on something that we can exactly you see it so you can find other colors or type other colors and you can get what you're looking for so in order to turn it into an actual usable mock-up so for example for the face mask um you just import the face mask into photoshop and then import your logo right so we'll be using this logo for this example and then once you import it just align it accordingly you can either decide to keep it straight or keep it slanted and then use the um blend mode um, darking or multiply i i prefer multiply because if you if you look at it you will see the intricate details of the mask you know shining through then you go into the layer style um, window by double clicking your um the layer here and then bevel and emboss outer bevel you can copy the same settings here and you can get a realistic looking classic nose mask mock-up for your project um like i said you can always use prompts to change the color i prefer to change the color in photoshop using blend modes and hue and saturation with different layers but to make your work easy you can always do that in um image effects fx wow um you can always do that in image fx so there you have it guys that's how i come up with um mockups using image fx it's really nothing too serious and i hope this helps you develop mockups for your next project so until next time keep creating stay creative cheers guys